Hello and welcome to Document. In this video, we'll be telling you how to add rich text formatting to your text fields. So in this example of this invoice, we have a notes field here. Um, looks like there's some potentially additional formatting in here, but um, it's not coming out in the output. So let's go over to Airtable. This is our notes field. It's a rich text field, long text, rich text. And we expand that out and we can see this should be bullet points here, item one, two, three. But we have it coming in like, like so. So how do we change that? Okay, so let's go over to our template. This is our notes field here. This is the one that we're going to be paying attention to today. And uh, we need to go to our help documentation. We go to the function section and we'll see um, all sorts of different functions and videos uh, on all of these will be available. Uh, but in this particular case, we want to look for what's known as the markdown. Um, Airtable uses uh, markdown in its rich text fields, but what that basically means is um, that you can format letters and words um, to be bold or italic, um, or you can put um, uh, bullet points or checkboxes or things like that. Uh, and we call this, uh, there's a shortened version here is uh, MD. So if we hop down to MD, uh, where are we? Here we go. So this is renders, rendering the markdown correctly, and this is what we're going to use. So essentially, we need to put a prefix in front of our variable here uh, and we'll go from one version of our text to a nicely formatted result and this is all we need to do just remember to add this little part here so if we go back to our notes double click on our notes inside the curly brackets we just put dollar md for markdown make sure we add the space and our normal variable that should give us everything we need so let's hop back over to our Airtable base and let's try that again. Give it a second. And there we are. So we now have our bullet pointed items. This was our original version and this is our new version with the, the markdown accurately rendered. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next video.